Earlier this year, Google added a new search feature that enabled you to find the air quality index of a certain area by typing it into the search engine. You can narrow this search down by including the city at the end of the search query. They've even added a little toggle here to include air sensors in the search. This feature has become quite useful for many people. So the company has decided to expand this so that it works in Google Maps as well. This new air quality index feature has been added to Google Maps using the app's layers feature. So we just need to open it up and then find the location you are curious about. From here, we're going to tap on the layers icon. And then we're going to select the air quality option. You're going to instantly see a bunch of dots, a bunch of locations appear on the map. And these numbers represent the air quality index for that location. If you're curious about a specific report, Go ahead and tap on it and you'll be given additional information via this card at the bottom which you can swipe up to include a summary of the current status, a meter for you to gauge the severity, a list of air quality index reports from nearby areas, and then a link to tap that brings you to a page that explains air quality information in more detail. We can see that Google is pulling this information using two different types of sources. First, they are able to get this info by, from select locations due to partnerships with the government. These stations are placed throughout the country and the AQI from those spots are displayed as is. However, Google is also partnering with some non-regulatory entities as well. In these cases, Google is taking the sensor measurement and then calculating a weighted average using the now case, now cast algorithm. The company is then able to apply the United States EPA correction factor before displaying the information in Google Maps. This type of data can be extremely important for those of you who live in the United States during the summer season as the weather heats up and wildfire season is about to begin.